For years, my stepmom pretended to care for me in front of my dad. But behind closed doors, she plotted to kick me out the day I turned 18. I kept silent to protect my father, until her lies finally shattered everything. I helped set the house up and cook dinner cause dad asked me to help out which was fine. After they ate, they were hanging out on the porch when I heard stepmom and her friends talk very loud outside my window. Stepmom's friends talked about how lucky she was to have a nice husband in a house when they mentioned how nice it was that I cooked for them. Stepmom told them that I was annoying and weird and she hated me and living with me and couldn't wait till I was 18 to kick me out. I was shocked that she hated me that much but I didn't know why. To be honest I thought we were tolerating each other but to hate me? I must have done something but I can't think of what I did. I've been down since that day which was two weeks ago and I thought I was past the initial feelings. But at rugby training today I burst into tears and my coach sent me home so I drove to a beach and cried I was feeling so much I honestly can't describe my emotions. I eventually fell asleep in my car. I'm trying to figure out how I can talk to my dad about it because I'm scared about how he will react. I don't want my dad to be sad because he does so much for me but I'm not strong like him. I'm really struggling. I decided I was going to talk to my dad the next day and show him what I've written here. I hoped it would go well. It sounded like a good idea to me but a few days later I'm not sure that I am able to do what I planned because Amy just took my car keys away and she wants my phone but I won't give it to her so she is waiting for my dad to take it from me because apparently I'm doing drugs but I told her I'm not and that I've been at the beach. I wish I was able to say I followed through with my plan of showing my father what I've written but sometimes life never goes according to plan. After my stepmom was taking my things away assuming I was on drugs I started recording on my phone and she said a lot through the door. Many things about my mom and me and just plain hateful words that I don't want to repeat on here. I fell asleep while I was barricading the door with my body when my dad demanded me to open the door. At this point I don't remember much of what happened but my stepmom told me I had to leave the house and my dad agreed. I didn't know who to call but I decided to call my coach and he picked me up and I was a crying mess. He didn't ask any questions but just told me that I was safe and that if I needed to talk he was here for me. I stayed over one night and the next day my dad picked me up but stepmom was not at home when we got there and dad told me we needed to talk. We had breakfast and my dad spoke to me about many things my stepmom told him and I couldn't believe all the lies she told him. It was a long talk but in summary it was my use of drugs and alcohol, how I disrespect her in our home, I don't do my responsibilities like chores at home and I'm nasty to her when dad is not around. He asked me why I was acting like this and if I had a problem with her I should have spoken to him. I let him talk and when he was crying and asked if I had anything to say I was at a loss for words. I knew whatever I said my dad would be on my stepmom's side so I told him I wanted him to watch the recording of the incident that I could send as an email attachment and the link to what I've written and then we could talk more. I also said I didn't want to be here when he was reading and watching I'll go for a drive and he can text me when he's done and ready to talk. He was hesitant at first but I told him it was important to me so he agreed and I left in my car to the beach and sent the email with the video attached and the link to my story. I don't know how long I waited but many thoughts were going through my head. I was missing my actual mom so much and what if my dad still sided with my stepmom what can I do now? I fell asleep at the beach spot and was woken up by a police officer knocking on my car door and asking for my name. After confirming my name he advised me to get out of my car and hand over my keys to him and to follow him to his car. He handcuffed me and assured me that I wasn't in trouble but this was a welfare check because someone made a call that I was possibly suicidal. I didn't talk after he told me that and all I remember was just crying. He made me sit in the back of the police car until the ambulance came and they took me to the hospital. I was asked many questions and was evaluated and was told I was depressed and may have extreme anxiety. The physician did say I might have other things but would require further testing and some sessions with a psychiatrist. My dad came and visited me while in the hospital and when I saw him he looked really tired. When he spoke it sounded like he was crying and he told me he called the police on me because of the video recording I sent him. He heard everything my stepmom said but he also saw the cuts on my thighs and was scared and thought the worst. Honestly I never watched the video so I didn't know my thighs were visible. After we both cried we spoke about a few things. I told my dad that I didn't feel comfortable living with stepmom after everything she said and done to me over the years and I was not sure I could handle being around her since I didn't trust her. We spoke about arrangements and knowing my dad still loves my stepmom and I didn't want him to choose between us. I told him that I could talk to my coach if I could stay with him and after calling him he agreed. I've also been admitted to an agency that will support me because I am mentally unwell. I have been to one session so far and waiting for another evaluation to be done on me and some tests with my GP so they can diagnose me. I'm currently staying with my rugby coach who has been an amazing pillar. He has set out some house rules but I respect the guy and don't mind following them. My coach even set a date next week for me and dad to catch up on. My coach is an awesome dude. I thought of him as just a coach who just wanted our rugby team to win but when he allowed me to stay over he showed so much care for me and I saw a side to him and understood how much he cares for my team. He has a lovely wife but I'm kind of anxious whenever it's just me and her at their house. I was hoping that this would be all there is to the story but unfortunately life likes to kick you while you're down.
Since then, two meetings that my coach set up between me and my dad took place. The first was at the beach. We spoke and I told him a lot about what happened between me and my dad's wife. I mentioned how she would treat me when he wasn't there, what she spoke to me after they got married and how she was awful to live with. I told him how I dealt with it for his sake because I wanted him to be happy. I mentioned to him that I spoke with my coach about staying there until I go to university and then I'll move away because I cannot live with his wife anymore since I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm never going to try and get along with her anymore. He listened and was crying and asked if I would ever get over this. I told him no and I never wanted to see his wife and walked off since I was pissed off at what he said and drove back to the coach's house. He messaged me later and said I'm acting like a kid and I responded, that's because I am a kid. The second time we had a catch-up was dinner at my coach's house. My coach invited my dad to have dinner and hang with me. I was excited to hang out and catch up with my dad even after our last meet because I was feeling a bit better but at the same time I was feeling anxious about the meetup like I had a bad gut feeling but I ignored it. Dinner went great. Me, dad and coach had fun playing with his pool table and later on that night coach gave us space to talk. Dad talked about my mom and me as a kid, just things he would tell me when I was a kid and it was just me and him. It was fun and I really enjoyed our time together. When it was time to go home I offered to drop him off since he drank but he said his wife was here to pick him up so I hugged him and he went. I kind of stayed in the garage and waited for her to leave so I could walk in the house but I heard her say, how's the little shit and I bolted out the door and told her to screw off. Boy was I not ready for the slap my dad gave me but all I remember was swinging a punch at him and knocking him down and my coach pulling me off my dad. My coach told my dad and his wife to leave. After they left I told my coach I never wanted to see him again and I texted my dad we were done but it doesn't end there. Last week I planned not to go to school on Friday and go for a drive up the line with a few teammates just to get away from everything. They ended up bailing so I went by myself. I ended up driving to a lake and parking up and just chilling for the school day and just drive back home later on. When I got home at my coach's house I saw my dad's car parked in the driveway and thought I would have to square up with my dad. When I parked up my dad ran out of the house and looked like shit. He looked like he cried for days and he started hitting my car screaming to get out of the car and tell him where I was the whole day. I thought he was mad that I wagged school so he ripped the door open and hugged me so hard and cried I had no idea what was happening or what he was saying but all could understand was I'm sorry and I love you. After what felt like forever he kind of calmed me down and I asked him why he was there and then he told me there was an accident with a kid getting hit by a train and it clicked my dad thought it was me. He said when he heard the news he called the school and they said I was a no-show and called everyone he could think of. My mate said I went for a drive somewhere but didn't know where and my dad said he lost it. He calmed down eventually and said he would divorce his wife if I wanted him to but I told him he needed to choose that for himself because the reason I stayed quiet was to make him happy. If he is unhappy he should make a choice for himself because I don't want to be the reason he is unhappy. Now I have to look after myself and that is getting away from her and he cried and just said sorry some more. He ended up sleeping over in the same room as me that night and the night after because I think he was scared and just trying to deal with all the emotions. I was okay with it and my coach allowed it. He left after the weekend to sort himself out back at his home. I told him that where I am is good for me not to worry and that I'll turn off do not disturb on my phone so I can see texts. That's pretty much it really. I don't know what my dad is going to decide to do with his wife but I am definitely not ever going to associate with her ever in the foreseeable future. I love my dad too much to stop seeing him but he knows my boundaries since I've set them out clear as day and he knows as much as I love him I will cut him off if I feel like it's not for me. I'm moving past what happened between me and my dad's wife for me because I'm tired of letting her beat me in my mind so I just got to work on me. I'm currently happy staying with my coach and his wife. They have been amazing and have shown me so much love. They have awesome kids who I have met and they have invited me to their family Christmas. I feel bad that I feel anxious when I'm around the coach's wife but I'm working on it with my therapist and I have a good support system. I know I want to go to university but not sure if I want to study commerce or law but I know I'm on track with my studies. I just can't afford to skip any more school. I would like to say that if you ever feel down there is help out there for you no matter where you are in life. I'm glad I shared my story and because of it I've learned so much about myself and many things I won't forget and teach to my kids. Now I've got to go school. Take care and cheers. If you enjoyed this story be sure to subscribe for more.